All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, well, it's time to get to work finishing out my swim platform, and I'm gonna show you where I'm at. Uh, done some cleaning, and I've got some things sorted. Here's the swim platform, how it turned out after I removed my clamps. Um, everything's good and solid. What I've done this morning is I came out and I scraped it with a little scraper just to knock off some of the high points on the resin, um, especially around my, my clamp areas. There were some little high spots. I knocked those down. I hit it with a really light sanding. Now this was non-waxed um, non resin, so, um, so I shouldn't really have to do much. but. Uh, but I hit it with a real light sanding. I'm gonna hit the whole thing with acetone. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, coat this whole deal with resin before I lay on my new glass. But first, we're gonna fill in the little gap here with some peanut butter. And uh, it wasn't like that beforehand, but I like the idea of filling this gap in and then laying my, my new glass right up to the edge. Um, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, Here's, of course, my glassing table. Um, I gotta cut some 19 inch pieces and then I'll bring them over here and I'll lay them on top and I'll, I'll trace the edges and I'll cut the edges out following the contours of the swim platform. Uh, pretty simple. But I've got a piece of hardy plank laid up on top of my fiberglassing table that I cut on. Um, got a couple of clamps on the end so I pulled my fiberglass off of my roll. I got it clamped on the ends of the table. And I'm gonna measure out 19 inches and lay down my straight edge and I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut. And uh, I got a tripod here, so we'll let y'all see this. This cutting process right here. Works really well um, and I don't, I don't put nicks and, and burrs into my uh, my smooth tabletop here. Nice sharp razor knife and got the straight edge on it. Everything's square and we're just going to take and cut through the glass. That is what I have found works best. Um, now I've got my 19 inch uh, wide strip and and that will work really well um, when I get over here and uh, and go to laying it in. I actually found that uh, the 19 inches is the width of the plywood from here to here and and it actually comes and and just makes one seam here and what I did underneath the plywood is I overlapped it with, uh, with a piece about two inches wide where the seam was, and I plan to do that again when I build up the bottom. Uh, the width, the 38 inches is perfect. It comes right in the middle, and then I'll overlap. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get started um, making all my cuts. Uh, I've got everything set up for my peanut butter mix. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all that set up and uh, make all the cuts on the fiberglass first, get all my pieces laid out, and I'm making three layers, so I'll have uh, several cuts to make, and, uh, and then I'll mix up my peanut butter, and once I get the peanut butter mixed up, I will lay it in the edges, I'm going to try and tape most of that, and, and then I'm going to do my fiberglass layup. I'm a little concerned that I might not have enough resin, but we'll find out here in a few minutes, so uh, we'll see how far I can get this morning. See you in a little bit. Thanks. Bye.